Well, for me, living in China was a, in terms of dress, was a little bit awkward because I've always considered myself to be slim. And then when I went to China, everybody was super flat. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd be talking to me and staring at my chest or staring at my butt. And it was a little bit awkward. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so yeah, it was then when I, I felt bigger. And so, um, you know, some of the stuff that I would wear here, I wouldn't feel so comfortable, like cleavage or, or you know, like, I don't really wear short so shorts. What, but what um, province in China were you? I was in Hangzhou. Okay. Of course, is that something that we know? <laughs> it's like um, two hours from Shanghai. We can't get okay. <laughs> 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 it. Why do you say so? I just think so. How close is that to something that we know? <laughs> yeah, but I just want to know. But you know, you know. kind of different we kind of like we're in brands already like top mm -hmm. brand if you're gonna be you'll see all type of dudes and all type of here dear top brand so for me it never really changed all my dress um because of because of that because i already dressed kind of like that already so mm -hmm. that's not really why I feel like um Jamaican people like you can tell a Jamaican going through the airport because the Jamaican is the one that have all Louis Va bags <laughs> or all Gucci bags <laughs> or just yeah Jamaican people just extra like why are we so extra like, or a big flag a big Jamaican flag on or the a suitcase. big Jamaican flag on the suitcase or some something some Jamaican chain or yeah. something like. I mean, I've been in my car quite a few times, and when I'm going to work, I wear my Jamaican armband, like a little thing like this. Yeah. Wrist, whatever, bracelet? Right, but it's like handmade. And you know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so Ren, right if you need a body double, or you know, um, I don't know, whatever. Hey, I'm here. She, she right here. <laughs> you heard it first on your bed, speak English. I don't know. Alright, um, what about dressing for you? Like, do you think that moving to the U.S. or, or being well-traveled makes you, you yeah, did it change the way you dress? Like when you were back in Jamaica a month ago, would you dress like this now or would you dress? To be honest, Mobi is a place like this where we are, we have, you know, just like Kingston, we have a lot of people. So mm -hmm. a lot of, we see a lot of people coming out come from the States and they're always, so a lot of in Africa, it wasn't, you can wear anything really. But one thing I know, I thought that I would blend in in Africa. I did not. No? No. Why not? Um, only Kenya, because my forehead big. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Thank you, Rihanna, for putting us on the chart. But <laughs> most, <laughs> but no, but mostly when I went. Yeah, for the big part. Yeah, represent for the big part, girl. <laughs> but in, in Nairobi, a lot of people thought I was um, Kenyan until I spoke. They're like, oh. You want you? Yeah. Um, and in South Africa, I did stand out a bit because then they'll think that I'm from another African country. But then I really got more respect when people knew I was Jamaican. Mm, like, oh, you're a foreigner, so in Kenya, excited. In, yeah, they love Jamaicans in Kenya. I've gone to many clubs for free, gotten free food. But first of all, <laughs> let me explain this to you, Rolex. <laughs> And children and, and student audience. You know why she get free stuff when she go out? Because when she dress up, she kind of look like Rihanna. And what if a time people mix her up for Rihanna? Like, I kid you not. Yeah. So, no, but it's, it's just a yeah. It happened once in Singapore. I got a VIP section. Wow. Because they thought I was doing it. Yeah, and then a couple, couple cities in the U.S. I lived in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I went to school in the Boston area, college. Oh. Yeah. Which so, college did you go to? Um, it's called uh, Southern New Hampshire University. Oh, okay. Small, I know small, that. You know yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, so I went to that school um, to get, get my degree there. And, um, so yeah, so I live a few different places. 
Okay, that's good, that's good. But I want to talk a little bit about how um, Jamaicans traveling overseas and living overseas affect the way, like, our dress. Like, do you think that Jamaicans dress differently, like, when they start living overseas, or no? Um, yes. Well, for me, first of all, going to Qatar, mm -hmm. a Middle Eastern country, I couldn't wear the bus around at him. <laughs> yeah. Um, even wearing something like this um, in some places in public, I could not. No miniskirts. You had to just respect the culture. You tour the states, fifteen states, fifteen states. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're a DJ, so right. I believe that. Right. You've been around like that. So right. That's the truth. Right. There's no way you're gonna turn far to, far to one. I am actually. <laughs> oh! <laughs> true. Wow, so that's true? Yeah, but you look real good for your age. Wow. Wow. If, if that's true, because I still am in this building. Yeah, you yeah. know, we have the, we have the, what's the, the black don't yeah, crack, right? Black and the yeah. Jamaican yeah. dumpling yeah. and yam and banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. I'm selfish, I'm saying. For real. Yeah. Alright, so you've never been to Cuba. Y'all quite speak English with a boy OG.